Yeah. No, yeah, well, um, I just pretty much wouldn't ask you a quick question. So, I'm filling out the work experience sheet, and to be honest, I don't really have to come out of the, re- the requirement proof. Like, I've done the work, and honestly, it looks like a lot of hassle what I'm going to go through. Um, I spoke with a friend of mine, and I saw, honestly, one of your videos as well. Um, what are your thoughts on getting um, I think getting an RMO is a solution for someone that one wants to get their license quickly and two for someone that's not able to get their license the conventional way. So it's a, it's a good idea if you if you meet those criteria. No, yeah, because honestly, like I, I was honestly um, leaning towards that route. To, um, to be honest, because like, I really want to do it. Like, you have no idea. And um, I kind of want to do it, like, ASAP. And honestly, like, I feel like having as well as someone like, uh, I guess you could say, like, kind of a mentor there, like, would help me a lot for my age. That's what I was being told. Like, but honestly, I don't know how this route works. Like, I was thinking going through an RMO agency, or what do you, do you think, like, they're too expensive? Maybe there's a different route that you recommend? So, I mean, I do the RMO. I do about 12 a year. Um, so I can do the RMO, but uh, it's not cheap. Okay. Uh, and, it, and, 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 and cheap may mean something different to depend on how much work you have coming in. Okay. So mm-hmm. you got to realize this is that when you do do the RMO, you're still going to pay the same fee to the state board okay as yeah. as if you were um as if you were um taking the test okay you have okay. to you you have some of the same fees the only fee that's that's excluded out of that is school tuition because you're not preparing to take an, an exam okay but the yeah, cost yeah. the cost is still going to be the same as if you were getting a license okay now mm-hmm. the deal with the rmo what I do over here, as far as RMO, is going to cost you anywhere from a thousand to twelve hundred per month to do the RMO. And, and is that the final cost, boss, or, or how does that work? Like, no, that's that's every month. That's like I just have to have that amount, and I'm good, right? Right. You 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 do that amount every month to be in business for that person to take the risk to give to make your company be able to contract no yeah i get you i get you okay um mm-hmm. um i don't i don't know how much the the other are armo agencies are doing i don't know how much they're no, doing I, I i really don't know either and honestly if, if you, you wouldn't mind like if you have space i'd rather go a thousand times for you like like pretty much that's what, that's what i'm looking for like someone like you know i have like a mentor if you don't mind Right, like right. That, I know that, well, that will help drastically. Well, with, with, with my services, um, um, comes with the mentoring too. Like you get my estimate program. I help you get jobs. Um, I help you bid on projects. Not all the time. You don't have a, you know, I'm not going to do every job, but I'm not here to see you not succeed mm-hmm. because every month my company also gets a a percentage of that 1200 to maintain the service between you and the RMO. So it's, it's, it's beneficial if I make sure you don't run out of work. You know, if you're well, not successful, I won't be successful. So, uh, you, yeah, you do have our help. But um, now one thing you have to do is you have to set up a corporation. Do you have a corporation set up? No, actually, I have a business set up just, but, like, it's the sole, um, sole ownership. So I was, I really like the name, to be honest, though, the one I have, so I'm planning on turning that into a corporation. Because okay. I, I should have signed up as a corporation from the start, but um, I'll, I'll just turn, is it, I'm pretty sure it's, is it, or do you think I should start a new corporation with a new name? No, you can just do that name as a corporation, as long, long as that name is not taking, taken. No, no, uh, no, and I, I already have it possible with the city. Um, I sent it out with news, uh, with a newspaper company, like to like um, advertise it for four weeks. So like the name's not taken; it can't be taken anymore. Okay, 
So once you, you know, file with the Secretary of State, then, um, yeah, you, you can easily do LegalZoom and incorporate that name. It takes about three weeks. Okay? Oh, perfect. Okay. And the other question I want to ask you, so um, I know I have to have, like, a starting capital. Like, so how does this work? I'm telling you, I'm really apologizing for being kind of ignorant on this subject. But So you're saying it's 12, 12, um, 1200 a month. Well, um, the other question I want to ask is, like, is there anything starting? Like, should I, should I have this amount before I start this route? Or should I... Like well, so one thing you're going to need, the, the, the application fee. Um, um, so there's an application fee for me to do the paperwork uh, uh, for me to hold your license. Once you like say, hey, I'm serious, this and that, then we take a, a, a fee of, uh, I forget what the percentage is, but it comes out to like 200, 230 bucks, okay, that we hold that goes towards your 1200, okay? So we hold that. Okay to make sure that you're serious. But the the money that you're gonna pay for your application to be approved with the state board, I believe is 530. So in total, I should have like, before I start this process, I should accumulate like around two grand, right? Yeah, two grand is fine, yeah. Oh, okay, perfect, okay, um, Tyrone. No, yeah, definitely I'll go with, with your route if you don't mind, um, um, how do you call it? I'm just gonna, so you, um, so I first have to do the corporation first, right? And then like I, I get back to you. Yep, you have to do the corporation first. Uh, then you get back to me. Um, I have an armor already selected. What, what license are you looking for? A B. Yeah, for the B. Yeah, I have an armor already ready to go right now. Appreciate it, Tyrone. Okay, yeah, definitely. So I'll get this. I'll get this started ASAP. Like, see if I can go today or tomorrow and get the corporation settled. And then, um, yeah, I'll give you a call back if you don't mind, we, we can do business. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, man. It can happen uh, pretty quick. You know, we'll do, uh, what you do, you can do it on LegalZoom. Like I said, get that thing started. You can even pay them to expedite it and get it done quicker if you want it. And then you come back to me and say, hey, the corporation, I verify that corporation. Okay, you give me the corporate number. I look it up, verify. Then I send you an agreement. And that agreement would be between me, you, and the RMO. And then we'll do a phone call, make sure it's a good fit. And then we'll go through the agreement, make sure, you know, no one wants to revise it. We'll sign it. And then we'll fill out the uh, application to the state board. Get that thing filled out. You'll send it off. And then they'll issue you a number. You'll be ready to contract. Appreciate it, boss. Yeah, sounds great. Now, the other question was this one. I know I have to give up 20% of ownership, right? Mm -hmm. um, to the, to the RMO. So... Does that go into the profits as well, or am I just paying them the twelve hundred? You're just paying them the twelve hundred. What I do here uh, legally, per the state board, they want you to have the RMO, yeah, uh, right? Um, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't do any ownership with the RMO um, um, at all because the R, that's not his company. You know, really, you built this company up all this time, so I deal with the RMO on that part. Um, if we do have to add the RMO to the, uh, to the Secretary of State because the board is requesting to see the officers, um, then we'll add the, we'll add the RMO real quickly and then we will remove him after we issue the paperwork to the state, to the state, to the state okay. board. Okay. Tyrone, honestly, thank you so much. So, um, yeah, if I have any questions on how to start the corporation, um, I'll, I'll give you a call. Honestly, I'll, I'll look into it right now. Like, but what are you, what are steps? So like, I really don't know what the next step I should take. So, um, I, I, as I told you, I started the company. Um, I went to, um, to how do you call it? City Hall in Norwalk and go, I pretty much just filed it. Go to legal zoom and incorporate the name. <laughs> well, what's it called? Is that a website or legal yeah, zoom? Legal zoom helps you set up corporations. Oh, okay, I get you. So should I give them a call or like it's all online? It's all online. Just go online, legal Zoom, and um, fill out the paperwork and you can start the process. And um, they're going to take a fee from you and, and get you going. All right, boss. Appreciate it so much. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get that today and I'll give you a call back tomorrow. Thank you for your time. Honestly, if you have no idea, I, I thank you a lot. Hey, um, do you, hey, I, I recorded this. Do you mind if I post this on YouTube? 
No, go ahead. Honestly, like, if they can help anyone out, like, without a doubt. Okay. And that's how I learned about, like, yeah, honestly, like, it's, it's, it's my pleasure. For real. Okay. Thank you once again for everything. And then how'd you hear about us? Um, what, how do you hear about, what do you mean? I know we talked before, but how, how'd you, I'm just, this is for video purposes, man. Um, no, no, you, uh, <laughs> YouTube, honestly, okay. honestly, I watched your videos for, for a long time, and they're really informative, and like, I'm pretty sure any person wanted to be, a, I recommend anyone who wants to be a contractor to watch your videos, like, without a doubt, you, you know what you're doing, and, and obviously, like, yeah, I wish you many, many more years of success, and thank you for everything you're doing for us. 10-4, man, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon, man. Definitely, Tyler. Take care, boss. Have a good one. All right, you too. Bye-bye. All right, man. That was someone uh, also looking to do the RMO. Um, great conversation. I'm glad you guys was able to listen. I'm glad he was able to approve me to post it. So I'll be posting this. You guys will see it. Uh, but, you know, doing the RMO thing, it, it does cost. Uh, but it is a quick way. One, it's a quick way if, if you want to do several classifications. Like right now, I have a, a, a B license uh, RMO, and he also have a, a C21 demolition. So when you do RMO and you do the renting part, you can actually get two classifications at one time. But if you do the conventional way and taking the tests and everything, you only could do one license at a time. Um, so that's the deal with that um that's a that's one of the plus so this 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 really deal is only for the people that's not able to take the test um or don't have the time to take the test right um or or have any other restrictions why they can't get their license and that's who this is for it's not for everyone okay so if you do have questions about this make sure you give me a call if you have questions about anything else with dealing with licensing contracting uh, I'm the one to call um, and you can easily find my number. Just look through the videos and my number will be there. Uh, uh, some matter of fact, this guy even got my cell phone number. Some videos, my cell phone number on there. Most videos, my office number is on there. Um, or you can contact me by email. That's on there on a lot of videos. So I'm not hard to find. All right, my construction entrepreneurs, I'm going to let you go with that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share this with someone. Uh, and make sure you subscribe and like, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. And remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. I'm out.